photo can be difficult even if it is of your pets, but today we are learning how to do it right. Sometimes they just won't smile for you. Yeah, you know what? And, <laughs> and they tell you where they want you to stand, and you know, that's another issue. Very too. demanding. Yeah. Caitlin Ross is here investigating how to get the best snaps for her digital series K9. Kate, help us out. You know, I don't even know if I can do this with a straight face because <laughs> I've been laughing at these photos all day. They are amazing. All of us want the perfect shot of our pups, but we're more likely to get something like this. I asked people to show me the worst picture of their dogs, so we had some good material to work with. And believe me, you did not disappoint. Hundreds of people showed me their doggy photo fails so we could figure out how to do it better. Adam Gold makes our pups look amazing, but warning, it sounds kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Adam Gold isn't shy about getting the shot. <laughs> His photographs have gone viral for their hilarious expression and personality, but he says each dog is a blank slate. Each dog is different. We start out by giving them treats. He takes a few minutes to get to know the dog and their owner before he starts. We get the owner to calm down, and then the dog will calm down after that. Well, his pictures are stunning. He started taking them for free. He volunteered at an animal shelter and would take photographs to try and get the animals adopted. When I worked there, I fell in love with just taking photos and of animals. I didn't know how to take photos before. I kind of learned on the job. Now he's on a road trip to try and raise money for shelter dogs across the United States. He takes the pictures for a donation. They know how to sit, they're trained. So it's like running a marathon or training for a marathon, but running a 5K. 5K is so much easier. This trip, he's trying to raise $7,000 for homeless animals. People sign up in advance and they get excited. I had to bring my dog Izzy in to see how she would do on the big stage. For reference, here's the last picture I took of her. And here's Adams. Izzy was a little nervous at first, but once she got all the treats and realized that I was a good person, um, she's doing great. I don't know if she did great, <laughs> but here are his pro tips for getting the shot. Number one, go outside. The natural lighting looks a lot better in the photo. Number two, get on their level. Don't try and take the shot looking down on them. You actually want to get down on the ground. And number three, take the picture doing what they like, whether it's playing with a toy or taking a hike. If they're in their own element, they're going to look better too. So if you have your own tips or your own doggy photo fail, Please post them on the K9 page. These have been giving me joy all day. <laughs> I was like, wonder if those will work for kids too. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> but I could almost see Izzy's personality in that picture. He he is so good. You know, what's a little bit like glamour shots was in the <laughs> 1980s at the mall. Yes. <laughs> Give me an orange Julius and I'll take that picture. It was perfect. He was amazing, and all of the dogs had such a great time. A plus. Awesome, <laughs> Caitlin. Thanks.